Hi, Lynn here of Retire Escapades with George and Lynn. Hey, George. Hello. And it's Sunday, November 13th, 2022. Um, we're here on my back deck at, at our house and um, we're inside of our tent that we have on our deck for the summertime. Um, what we are doing today, our adventure is, um, there is a kitty that has been coming up on the deck um, I'm not sure if it's a feral cat or a lost cat, but um, I believe it's a female cat because it looks like a dilute tortie and tortoise shell cats are primarily female. It's very, very rare to have a tortoise shell male cat. But anyway, I think she's been, she has been coming up on the deck at night. I've been leaving food and water out for her, um, a little uh, QB if she wants to go in there, a little cubby, a litter box. Mm -hmm. um, we, I've been keeping the food up on the table and she's having the chairs close to the table so that Charlie doesn't come in and eat the food, which he would do in a second. So anyway, today we're going to set the trap um, to catch the kitty. I've put some information on um, social media. Nobody seems to know who the kitty is, belongs to. So um, we're going to trap the kitty and if you've seen our previous um, videos. George uh, has a trap. He traps groundhogs um, and we relocate them just so that they don't decimate his garden. And we've also caught skunks and squirrels in error by mistake and we let them go. And he actually did have a neighbor's cat in his trap one time. <laughs> so um, he's pretty experienced at using the trap. Um, we're going to take the kitty um, to the cat shelter that I work at, the Carbon County Friends of Animals, which we've also done a nice video on that, uh, on a tour of the shelter. We're going to take her there and uh, take care of her, get her spayed, and um, get her vetted and so forth, and uh, just, you know, take care of her, uh, whatever she needs, so that she's not out here. It's getting very cold now uh, it's very cold and windy today so um, we don't want her you know to be suffering outside and uh, we are going to need to take our tent down soon because it's getting to be that season where uh, we are winterizing everything so with all that said i'm going to put the the uh, camera on george and he's going to show us how to set the trap we've learned a couple little tricks um, to try to, you know, get the kitty in there and, and to uh, set it off. So uh, he's going to go through all that with you now. So this is our escapade adventure today to set the trap for the kitty. Hey gang, so what we're going to do is bait the trap and see if we can catch this. I think it's a semi-feral kitty. But anyway, if you're not familiar with these have a heart and so other other manufacturer traps, they're designed to catch the animals without harming them. You just set it like that. And what we normally do is do a pretest to make sure that there's no binding and that it works properly. And all you do is when the animal would step on here, it snaps it closed. We'll have the back on here after we put the feet, food in. And uh, that's pretty much it. It has worked really nice. Now this is a particularly street smart cat, evidently because we had baited the trap and uh, what the kitty did was wipe out the tuna fish and didn't get caught. So I did some extensive research and both reading and my favorite resource, YouTube, and we found from the professionals a number of ways of doing things. Now we have that set there one of them strongly suggested use a newspaper here. It covers the trip plate for one thing, and it's easy on the feet of the animal we're trying to catch. So we're going to do that. We're going to do it like this, and hopefully, put it through there. Like that. Okay. Next. We're going to set some premium tuna fish in here. Nice and juicy. It is, in fact. We didn't drain it because um, we're not going to put water in, so that will 
yeah, no, no water. So we're going to, you know, the, the kitty will have a lot of liquid. Um, so we don't really need to have a water dish in there that will could get spilt all over the place and get the kitty wet and it's cold, sure. etc. Another thing we're going to do, which I've gathered from my research, is a piece of chicken. We've had chicken thighs the other night and uh, it was delicious. I think uh, one of the things I learned with looking things over there was when you have a particularly street smart kitty, you can tie a piece of chicken up here that will make the uh, make the cat have to come in and really like draw it work, towards work, the work back. Work. Yeah. This broomstick here is another trick I've seen where especially if it's a harder kitten to catch that they would have to jump over this and step on the tr on the trip plate or they have to go under it and apply some pressure and either way that's going to be something you want so I'm going to tie this around here so we've got a lot of little tricks to try to outsmart the smart kitty indeed we do and hopefully going to be able to catch him or her and uh, our main purpose is to for their good to take them to the shelter and uh, they'll get what they need to get what they need and uh, perhaps even get adopted to a nice home yeah that is the main goal. and it's getting really cold out as i said and uh, it, we may get a little bit of snow this week, so mm -hmm. uh, we're just concerned to, you know, have it in a comfortable place where it's not cold or hungry or anything like that. Mm. The Put the back on. Like and it does snap under here, and it also has a secondary security latch because should an animal jump around, uh, it could pop that up a bit. Okay. Escape. We'll close the tent up. Just We just leave little spots open towards the bottom so the kitty can come in and out, mm -hmm. or hopefully just in this time, um, so everything won't be blown around so much. Okay, the last, next and last step would be to, co to give it a cover. Uh, they would like to go in somewhere where they feel protected. We're not going to cover that end because they apparently like to see that there's a way out on that side. So I'm thinking something like this. And also, when we catch the kitty, the uh, we want to make it feel less nervous and jumpy. Very good. Yeah, when we bring them into the shelter, yeah, we keep them covered for a little bit because... Um, most of the time they're upset they're scared uh of course so we give them a little time to adjust we keep them covered up for a little privacy and give them a little chance to calm down so we'll see in the morning usually the kitty cat comes during the night mm -hmm. so we'll see in the morning if the kitty's here and uh we'll probably pick up a a second video about taking it to the shelter and so forth the story of our kitty so we'll see okay very good all right thanks george yep, all welcome. right see ya. see ya if you like this video uh please like it please subscribe to our channel and please share thanks yep. bye hi gang today is monday november 14th 2022 and will you look at here i'm gonna just pull this out a little Thanks to the professionals on YouTube that gave me the idea how to do it. Look what we have here. Oh, She's it, so beautiful. It's beautiful. And somewhat calm. It's she little is. activity, but not bad. Yeah. But she certainly had a good meal. She did. Well, we're, yeah. Take her inside. She's be yeah. Well taken care of. Yeah, That's she's sure. so pretty. All right, well, we'll pick it up inside. Okay. Okay. So we're here at Carbon County Friends of Animals, 
and we have our kitty all settled in. I named her Eden because that name was available and she's just so beautiful. Hi Eden. And she's eaten. Uh, she's been looked at by our manager and uh, she's believed to be about two years old. She's not spayed. Uh, she doesn't have a chip. So, and she got a, um, she got a distemper shot. So she should be doing well. She's a beautiful girl. It's hard to believe nobody's claiming her, but uh, hopefully we'll get her calmed down and used to things and she can be for adoption and find a nice forever home, right? All right, see you later.